Hmm. So we were dealing with a little technical difficulty. As I said on the other channel I was on just a minute ago, that was wrong. This is music from the Van Kiljay from their album, The Verdict, Rain Down. There we go. We're up and running now. I'll go ahead and kill my kill, Jay. Hey, I want to welcome everybody to Whiskey Cars and Cigars Night. I am Johnny Blender, and thank you. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty. I started broadcasting on the wrong channel. Oh, I see my buddy Alan Faulkner is in the house. Glenn Carlson is in the house. Germ Fair, just man I wanted to talk to. In case you don't know who Germ Fair is, Germ Fair is the bass player for the band Seeking Seven, but he is also your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Jerm is a cosplay who just the Monroe County Journal just did a story on him. Uh, don't worry about the moonshiners part right there. That's something else. But Jerm Fair is a buddy of ours, and he sent us a copy of it. He uh, autographed it and sent to us. So we got this in today. It's a real good story. Uh, like I said, he's a real good guy. He's a real good father. He's a real good musician. He's a real good friend of the show. Uh, we like Jerm, and congratulations, Jerm, on your first expose. Didn't know I knew words like that, did you? All right. So uh, let's see. Cody Hollers is, is joined. Hey, Cody, I'm glad you're here. Uh, you know who's not? Uh, Edwin, we had uh, uh, Melvin Harder, Mike's dad, tuned in before Mike did last week. Uh, Ronnie and Lori Owens. L Ronnie, I bleach. I'll get you on that, brother. Uh, Alan Foster, <laughs> Faulkner, looks like it's working here. It is. Thank you. Uh, my darling wife, Lynn Seal Gibson, has joined. Glenn Culberson, hello, big guy. Uh, Cody Hollers, you beat Mike here every night, but we won't talk about that because, you know, if you want to, you can call him and tell him that Gibson Insurance now sells Gap Insurance, so he can give us a call and we can hook him up. Uh, <laughs> hey, Germ, no problem. No problem. Uh, <laughs> I put a little picture up today. Uh, everybody tells me that sex sells. Lynn gets 10,000 views on her show, uh, so I wanted to try to see if I could pump my numbers up a little bit, so I put a, uh, a pretty interesting picture up there. I hope you got to see it. It was uh, awesome. Uh, and speaking of awesome, I want to send a big shout out real quick to Sandy Thibodeau with Hemp Work CBD Oil. There's a number if you want to call and find out how. If you're tired of feeling, if you're tired of feeling sick and tired, check out this stuff. Hemp Work CBD Oil, 750 milligrams is what I use. I take it. I love it. It works for me. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me get started here. Uh, we got a little bit going on tonight. A little bit of everything. First, I want to send a big shout out to. Them. Uh, one of the show's sponsors, racerdirect.net, home of RJS equipment for great products. Please go to racerdirect.net, and, and you can save an extra 5% by using the discount code WCC. You'll get uh, free 5% off your order and free shipping. Hey, man, thank you, uh, Alan. I, 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 I thought you would like that picture. I, I appreciate the, the, the kind words there, buddy. I'm a little more worried about you than I used to be. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, don't forget about racerdirect.net. I want to send a big spot shout out to our sponsors, Hemp Work, CBD Oil, uh, Fuse Fuels, Skinny Screaker It Sauce. Works good on tires, sucks on ribs. Uh, Hot Rods House of Power, Night Risers Con, Big Time Bapes in Picayune, Mississippi, Naked Wines, The Edge Radio US, DM Graphics, Crazy Thing Art, Surreal Studios, Amelie Oil, Super S Products, NGK Spark Plugs, and KN Filters. So I have to do that and pay a few bills. Uh, big shout out to the Southeast, excuse me, Southern Outlaw Gassers. What? UPS is here, so the dogs are fixing to bark. Uh, 
Uh, hey, I also want to talk about the uh, uh, Jesse Holmes and the Southern Outlaw Gasters. They are a sponsor of the show, and they have awesome events. They've got a big event coming up September 6th and 7th in Gulfport, Mississippi at Gulfport Dragway, Gasser Blowout, GBO 10. Uh, you can come see your favorite gasser. Uncle Jesse Holmes will be there in all his glory. The Sugar Bug, Sugar Bug will be there. Donna White. There will be Glenn Cumberson. I'm waiting to see if Ronnie Dean and maybe Meadow Dean will be there. Um, maybe Brandon Miller will be coming down from the Carolinas. I don't know. I hope we hear from him. Um, let's see. Big Iron will be there. Uh, Nova Dose will be there. We got a bunch of people that are going to be. This is an outstanding event. All of these events are family friendly, are really family friendly, a really good time. Uh, maybe Ronnie, Ronnie Sandifer and the, any of the Southern Gassers may come out, bring the Shreve Dragster or the Hillside Hustler. Um, there will be a bunch of cars there. They're expecting a great crowd. You do not want to miss this. Uh, first time Gulf, uh, they've done GBO 10 at Gulfport Dragway. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Uh, we're working with Ken Thibodeau and the Spit and Sputter Dragster, which while I say that, I've got his engine in the shop we're putting together. Ken Thibodeau and the Spit and Sputter Dragster should be there. Hopefully not spitting and sputtered, but it should be running fine. We've got a new little engine out in the shop that we're going for. Ooh, i got another prop up here. Uh, Coontain. Hopefully the cool thing will be there. See if she's going to be there. Uh, let's see. I'm going through my props here. Uh, but like I said, this is the first time I got to work with these guys was at Emerald Coast um, for a race in February. Jesse Holmes, Joe Maddox, the entire crew, Tommy Killingsworth Jr. Uh, they put on a hell of an event. Uh, it's a very, very good time. Uh, Tommy Hillings, Killing. Killingsworth, I always mess his name up. Uh, he has got the Gasser Nation site, uh, Southern Outlaw Gasser site. Uh, they're always there selling their Southern Outlaw Gassers and their Gasser Nation stickers and shirts. Uh, you can check these up if you got more information. If you want more information on that, please call contact Jesse Holmes. I will have his name on this video after the show. Uh, but it's up on the Whiskey Cars and Cigars page as well as the Johnny Blender Show page. Um, let's see. There will also be a swap meet there. I think they're going to have the junior dragsters are going to be there. Uh, we will be updating this as it gets closer. That's September 6th and 7th, Gulfport, Mississippi. Uh, we'll be keeping you up to date on it. I'm not drinking any moonshine tonight simply because the feds have been being harsh on my moonshine making brothers. Uh, if you want to call in the show, the number is 888-681-2940. Please share that on the page. Uh, let me give a couple of shout outs to uh, Bailey Lowell. Oh, I know her. Uh, Jesse Holmes, Uncle Jesse, he's joined in. Debbie Clark has joined. Cole Vining has joined under his own name. Hi, Cole. Um, Let's see. Cody Collar says, you guys can come over this way and check out the Outlaw Armageddon race in August, and maybe we can drink some beers. Well, I don't drink beer, but if you got moonshine, it might be a possibility. Uh, Oklahoma, they don't have much corn out there, do they? Um, did I see the uh, Ronnie, Low, oh, uh, Ronnie Owens is asked, did I see the video going around about Memphis Outlaws fight at the race? Was that the one with uh, Birdman and Bobby Ducati or because uh, there are a bunch of fighting race videos around right now. So I didn't know who, which, which one you're talking about. I have seen several. Hey, big shout out to Monty Fitzgerald with the Northern California uh Racers, they had a, a show last weekend in, uh, I can't remember where in California it was, but they had a real good turnout. They had some fast cars there. Uh, Monty, uh, Monty Fitzgerald, I call him the preacher. Monty was there selling gap insurance for uh, uh, some of the racers that needed it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's my own little sick, twisted sense of humor. Um, hey, and don't forget, if you haven't liked the pages please like the pages and share the video we want to talk about everything going on out there now we've got another race i got some stuff in the mail today uh, 
Robin Bell uh, sent the information for the Time Warp 2019 schedule of events at the Southeastern Drag Racers Association Reunion Banquet and Car Show, Friday, September 27th. Uh, let's see, 9 to 4 registration desk will be open to pick up prepaid banquet tickets and T-shirt orders, 2020 membership cards. Also, follow a meet and greet, old visit old friends, make new ones, Hall of Memories, uh, open all day Friday and Saturday. Let's see, at 5 o'clock, banquet room opens for seat, seating and designated tables. Uh, 530 19th annual drag racers reunion banquet begins 2019 hall of fame inductions and awards uh, stand by your man extra miller good sportsman awards drag car hall of fame awards will pre be presented saturday morning saturday september 28th car show open to the public everyone welcome eight to ten registration uh, pick up t-shirts and membership cards, 8 o'clock car show registration opens, judging ends at 12. So if you've got a show car you want to get out there, even a race car, you want to get that out there and show it. Uh, trophy presentations will be uh, after ballots are counted. Each participant will get a ballot to vote on his or her choices. Uh, Saturday, nostalgia night races at Cottonwood Dragway. Uh, let's see. So that's something that's going to be really cool. If you got any questions, you can contact Johnny or Ann Jordan at 334-299-0303. Uh, that is a landline, so don't text. Uh, here's a here's a cover of the flyer. I'll kind of scroll it up here real quick so you can check it out and get the information on it. The car show is paying two classes of show and go and available show and shine. Two classes available. Show and go, show and shine. Uh, first, second, and third places, trophies for each class. So that'll be something that's really good. Uh, also, they've got a hotel at the Clarion Clarion Hotel information. Uh, call, ask for Mary or Jamaica at 334-411-8897. Uh, tell them you are with the reunion. Do not call the 800 number. The, a lot of the hotels make their own internal reservations that don't show up in the computer systems and the booking systems at the 800 number. So you need to call those numbers at, at, the, uh, at the hotels at a lot of events and check with those. Uh, let's see. They've got one room rate. For for one room for two people sixty seven ninety five three people seventy seven seventy five four people eighty seven seventy five includes tax and free full breakfast buffet for each paid guest. So I'll put the information up here on that. You can get the numbers to give Mary and Jamaica a call. I think you got everything there at the Clarion Hotel. Check that out. They should still have rooms available. Uh, and we'll cover more on that race September 27th to 28th. Now, we got a lot going on in September, and I got all kind of smiles and stuff going up here real quick. So let me join down there. Travis Winters has joined. Hey, Travis, thank you. East Coast Fuelers. Hey, John. Jim Cummins is in the house. They have their uh, – Jim Cummins and the East Coast Fuelers are not racing this weekend. Uh, Jim sent me the information on – their next race, and I've got it on another screen that I can't go to because I'll lose the feed on this one. Uh, rare one, Pop, she put. <laughs> I know that germ. It's, it, it's good. Uh, can't spell gap insurance with my, without my carter. <laughs> can't send. Sale gap insurance without my car. Uh, Sandy Thibodeau has joined. Hey, Miss Sandy, if you didn't hear, if you weren't here a minute ago, I was just talking about you at the beginning of the show. Sandy Thibodeau, if you want to message her and ask her about hemp work CBD oil, this stuff, here's her information. Contact her. I got a little bobo on my finger there. I uh, had a little incident with a grinder. Uh, Give her a call, check out, and get information on that stuff. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, try Hemp Work CBD oil. It has done wonders for me. Uh, Cody Holler said, hi, Lynn. Sandy Thibodeau said, hi, Lynn. Tommy Killingsworth has joined. Hey, TK, how are you? Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson is a good friend of ours, a good friend of the show from the band Caging Elliot. He's a guitar player. Mountain of a man. Him and his lovely wife, Paige, are, are, are followers of the show, and I really like them. 
I had a blast with them when I met them at the Amory Music Festival. Uh, so, yeah, they're great guys. Hope we can get them down here a little bit closer, down a little south. Uh, August 17th at Maple Grove, the East Coast Fuelers will be there. Um, Ken's going to see me tomorrow. Well, that's good, Sandy. I appreciate that. And if he's coming to see me tomorrow, don't forget those oil pan bolts or nuts. I got the bolts there in the block. I just need the nuts. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've gotten a few questions about my picture that I posted. It seems to be a uh, wonderful hit. Yeah, scene gave out. Being helpful, being helpful. Hey, Lee Parnell is joined. Hey, Leah, how are you doing? Glenn Coberson said hi, Lynn. Everybody, everybody says my show, and everybody says hi to you. I love it. Uh, Jerem Fair says Joe is still his twin. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Jerem looks just like Joe's arm. Oh, Richard Hernsberger has joined. Richard is my man in the shop that helps me out and actually has helped me, been helping me on the, uh, the studio, the Edge Radio US new studio, along with the offices for the Veteran Memorial and Tribute Project. And uh, it's, he, he did good. Did, did, did you see what he did today? He did an awesome, did an awesome job. job I, I really appreciate it, all the work that he does for us. No comment on that, Sandy Thibodeau. I assume that is the the, the uh, no the nuts. <laughs> the nuts for the oil pan. Oh man! Oh, and I mentioned our sponsor, Naked Wines. Naked, Naked Wines. If uh, if you would like a hundred dollar wine voucher, you can call me or have me send you one, or you can just use these numbers. They do the same thing. You can see those $100 wine voucher, naked wines, case of wine, free shipping to your door, wine glasses, wine glasses and you love it. History, but yeah, it, tell, it tells you about the vineyards. It tells you about the um, what the wines go with, the food that is good with those wines. I haven't, you know, I've seen you, damn. <laughs> that thing was full the other day. Well, anyway, back, I've seen you. So, Holy crap, did the hurricane hit the wine rack? Yeah. That thing is one, two, three, four, five, six bottles are gone. It was full. Okay. Um, and, and Lynn can't tell you about any of the food with those goes with those wines because she doesn't wait that long. No. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. John Thompson has joined. John Thompson. John Thompson is the owner operator of Night Risers Con in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Uh, it is an awesome event. We've been there the last two years and have had a blast. This year we're going to have Bishop Stevens, the big man. I, steampunk adventures to say well i was gonna make a head i was gonna make a big head comment but i, I did uh bishop stevens is the is is an actor he's also a, he he's a former wwe wrestler that has turned actor and is killing it he is salem tusk in the scene steampunk adventures of salem tusk he's been in a bunch of other things lately that we've seen um so yeah you got to check that out josh tko turner is going to be at night rises and kaylee turner is going to be there they're both josh is a wrestler kaylee is an actor josh is an actor they have continuing roles on the walking dead oh oh okay i figured it was just oh michael prado has joined Michael Prado is the guitar player for Kane Resurrection, or is it just Resurrection now, or is it just Kane? Kane Resurrection. Michael. Michael Prado. Inquiring minds want to know what the hell is the name of the band. You can watch the 
Yeah, check out. They did the they did the video uh, the music for the video. It was real cool. That's right. That's right. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Bailey Lowell said that I do. Bailey is Germ's new girlfriend. Oh, okay. Never mind. Excuse me. I am drinking tea tonight. Uh, Lipton brewed iced tea in the bottle. Uh, Lipton tea is not a sponsor of this show, but their tea, their brisk tea is really good. And if Lipton, if you would like to be a sponsor of this show, please contact us. Mm, tasty. It's really good tea. I like that tea. It's got a little lemon in it. It's wonderful. Awesome. Uh, so let's see. Let me jump back over to my show. My computer died. The other oh, there it is. Back up. All right. So we covered the Southern Outlaw Gassers event at Gulfport Dragway, September 6th and 7th. That's going to be awesome. Jesse Holmes puts on a hell of an event. You're going this in, and I asked, I sent Uncle Jesse a message wanting to know if they were going to have golf carts at Gulfport Dragway because I know pulling the car back from the big end, you said that that tow rope really hurts your hand when you're pulling it. You and you and Harley Owens can both kiss. Gold Peak Tea is awesome. I tried some Gold Peak Tea. I didn't like it. That was, you remember the two gallons that I bought home that we drank one over a holiday and the other one sat there forever? Mango or something, wasn't it? It was not good. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I hear you. I tea. Lemon, lemon's good. Lemon's good. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting the spit and sputter, which we, where is my, my cue card? My spit and sputter cue card. A little help would be nice. Uh, I talked to show just a little bit earlier in the show, but I'll call it again since I see the spit and sputter dragster, Ken Thibodeau's front engine dragster. Spit and sputter. Uh, got the engine in the shop for it right now working on. Waiting on a few parts. That's why I'll see Ken tomorrow. Uh, but, yeah, we're looking forward to getting that up and running and having him at this event in Gulfport, Southern Outlaw Gassers, GBO10. This is the first time Jesse's done an event in Gulfport, as far as I know. That is awesome. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, then, let's see, we've got a week off in September. September's going to be a busy month. September, there's a week off in September after Jesse's race. Um and then the next race that is September 21st is at South Carolina Motorplex. And they are having their night of fire. Uh, they're going to have Nitro Harleys, Nitro Funny Cars, Jet Cars, a True Street LS Class, Gassers, Pro Stocks, Junior Dragsters, and you can't forget the front engine dragsters. They're going to have the front engine dragsters there. I believe the Southern Slingshots are going to be at that event. Uh, that'll be an awesome event. We've got some, we've got some more news coming up at on that event as it gets a little bit closer. Uh, we'll be breaking news on that right here on this show, talking about it. Uh, so that's going to be happy. Mark that on your calendar. September 21st on that one. Now, September 6th and 7th, you've got Gulfport, the Southern Outlaw Gassers, GBO10. September 21st, South Carolina Motorplex, you've got their Night of Fire. Um, September 27th and 28th, you have the Southeastern Drag Race Association's Hall of Fame dinner and their race. Uh, so that was that's that's Johnny Jordan's race that they have, and and that's that's at Cottonwood, Alabama. So all these races are relatively pretty close to us. Uh, the South Carolina Motorplex is about 10 hours, 10 and a half hours away. Uh, but Cottonwood and Gulfport are very, very close. Um, 
so those 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 should be some really good events. I'm I'm looking forward to see Jesse Jesse Holmes and and all the Southern Outlaw Gasters. Like I said, I hope Brandon Miller, who called us driving to Wisconsin, will will be there. Um, Oh, okay. Dramamine. Dramamine knocks you out. Um, fermented tea. That's moonshine, isn't it? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey. Ba Bailey, this is Bailey's first first night. I, I remember, I think, she's been on the show, and she's quite in com She's commenting quite a bit. She's, she's voicing her opinion. And, uh, you know, Germ's, Germ's not saying much, so that means that she has uh, just pushed him out of the way. So, uh, yes. Oh, Sandy Thibodeau said he's working on his car right now as we speak. That's why he's not watching. Well, Sandy, go tell him to get his ass out of the car. It's time to come in. He can watch me for 30 minutes every Wednesday night. I won't take the whole hour, just 30 minutes. Tell me to get in here or something might break on his motor tomorrow. It might, it, it might fall off the end. No, I wouldn't do that. I worked hard on that thing, getting everything set up on it. Uh, getting the right clearance on those aluminum rods. I think. You know, I, 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 I did the, uh, I did the movie picture today. That was pretty good. And if you want to go down this track, I can go down this track really well. Because uh, I'm not, I'm going to be the bigger person. I'm not going down this track. Well, if you want, to no. If, if you want to talk about the possums, I can, I can, uh, I, I can, I can retort to that. I mean, that's that's. You got to remember, that's a two way street. I've never seen a possum. Well, I've never seen. A, well, hold on. Remember that one that the dog killed? We're not sure that was a possum. It was a possum. I took that thing to LSU's Animal Veterinarian Hospital to get them to fix it. No, we don't know what the hell that was. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's. I think it was a Jupiter Cobra. Uh, so yeah, that that's cool. Jesse Holmes, Gulfport Gulf Coast Championship. GBO ten will be at Atmore. Oh, okay, okay. Go. I'm sorry. I got Gulf Coast Championship. I got the names wrong. GBO ten will be at Atmore, Alabama, October eighteenth and nineteenth. Uh, then Southern Outlaw Gassers racers go to Meridian Battlefield Track, November first and second. All right, they're going to see Kim Street at Battlefield Dragway in Meridian. So that's cool. We will have to get. Into nope, she's right outside. Uh, Columbus is where I was for Double D's. I had to come through there. Uh, but that's you. We need to reach out to Kim now that we know that race is there. We need to reach out to uh, Kim on that event. Yes, that would be good. And Battlefield Dragway is, is drag strip is a really really nice track. Uh, it's not that far. It's uh, the side of Jack three, maybe two and a half three hours. It depends. Well, you know, it depends on who's driving. That's remember they have the stage. We talked to them already. They have a stage there, so. Uh, I, I, that's why I just said, awesome. Uncle Jesse, you see what I have to deal with? Jesse, it's unbelievable. Um, my screen went off again on the other computer. Uh, Jern says he is entertained. Bailey, oh, look, Bailey decided to talk again. We were talking about the tea that sat in your truck for too long. That tea, that was not tea in my truck. That was moonshine. So whatever germ is telling you, he's lying. That was, that was coconut moonshine and apple pie moonshine, and germ tried both. No, no. Well, that was at the Amor Music Festival. At the Double D's, I had rigor mortis, and I had coconut moonshine, which both were a hit. Uh, in fact, Germ got hit two or three times while drinking rigor mortis. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, Sandy said that he has help tonight. Man, I don't even know what that's like. 
Uh, Mike, Mark Sur, Sur, uh, Surgison has joined. Mark Surgison, when I told him that I was doing the show tonight, not drinking, oh, Uncle Jesse said, thank you, Big John. Good to see you. Uncle Jesse, it's always good to see you. It's a pleasure when you come on. Uh, he also said hi, Lynn. Uh, we, we, we love Uncle Jesse. Can't wait to see him. Can't wait to see him. Uh, but Mark Sur Surgison was was viewing the show earlier when I or on the uh, message board today, and I told him that I wasn't going to be drinking tonight. And he asked me. He said, "Was I sick?" Uh, yes, yes. That was before I put the picture up. Yes, I am. But I told him that the feds <laughs> have had a, uh, the feds have had undue influence on my beverage manufacturers they've been tearing the moonshiners up down on the gulf coast <laughs> no 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 i've tasted your wine yeah it did bad uh <laughs> bailey is now laughing with tears uh germ <laughs> said it was devil juice i like moonshine but it makes me walk funny actually i walk funny pretty much all the time drinking moonshine actually makes me look normal <laughs> for the way i walk i mean you know with my knees and hip and everything when i drink moonshine people say oh that's why he's walking like that <laughs> Uh, Germ said, I also saw people hit the ground because they couldn't walk. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we will not talk about Mark Klingen tonight. Uh, Regina McKinney has joined. The apple pie is the bomb. Keep one by the head of my bed. Cough syrup. Uh, Regina, <laughs> where are you at? We've got, you know, we've got to go back to Kentucky again. We we go back in October, but that's just way too long for me to be without moonshine. I guess I can go buy some of the off the stealth. You know, Ronnie Owens sent us a case. The the the, the stuff that Ronnie sent us, the uh, that was that was apple. That apple pie was good. It had the little cinnamon stick in it. That was the only thing about it I didn't like. Yeah. <sighs> The cinnamon stick, I mean, it's good. It's good in there. The thing that I don't like about all these moonshine companies on the legal side that are putting shit in there, I like the smooth taste of alcohol going down my throat without a piece of fruit, without a piece of fruit or a seed or, you know, I saw the watermelon crawl. They've got that with slices of watermelon in it. And they had some other Deal pickle moonshine. Now I don't know what sick bastard decided to come who came up with that idea, but but they should take that bottle of moonshine and just beat him with it. Deal pickle moonshine. And I saw somebody said I wouldn't eat the pickles, but I'll drink the moonshine. And I started thinking, there ain't no pill for stupid. You just can't help some people. But uh so it'd be Kentucky until well, until either the feds lay off the boys on the coast or uh uh, we get back to Kentucky, but I may I may go to uh, Town Crier and a meet and get a bottle of the Junior Johnson family recipe apple pie moonshine midnight moonshine. Yeah, they've got that there. I've been really wanting some of the praline, um, but Mark Surgisson earlier had posted a picture and said maybe Ronnie Dean would bring me some PBR, and I said they got to make a hard pass on that one. Paps Blue Ribbon, you know we had a Christmas party. Remember when we had the Christmas party on Cherie Drive and we had all of the liquor and all of the different beers and all the wonderful food? And we had, I'm not going to mention his name, but we had that one bastard that kept going outside to get something to drink. And, you know, I, well, we had $1,000 worth of liquor, wine, and beer there. Every We had 10 different beers, 12 different beers, imports, domestic, we had everything. Uh, all kinds of liquor, all kinds of wine. This guy kept going outside, and I followed him outside one time, and he was going out there to get past Blue Ribbon. We went out there. I saw he was leaving my house to go outside and get past Blue Ribbon out of the cooler, and I said, you need to leave. 
I had Shinerbach. I had, man, I had Amstel Light, Heineken. We had good beer. And he was walking, and it was free. It wasn't like I was charging him for anything. He was walking out to his truck to a, and you know who that was, huh? That was the guy that lived down the street for us that worked for the gas company. So he was walking out to get PBR out of his ice chest. Man. Well, you know. Apple pie moonshine is actually good. Just can't drink much. That's for damn sure. No, Germ loved it. <laughs> yeah, Germ actually grabbed my bottle of apple pie moonshine and kind of looked like Uncle Jesse Holmes was walking around with a straw in it. <laughs> oh, at least John behaved. That's what Germ says. That's right. You ain't got to lie for him. Uh, uh, Bailey says the legal stuff is not that the same. It is not the same. And, 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 you know, there's a couple of the, I tell you what, Murder Creek Distillery over in, Al over in Florida, I really want to get over there. I've been trying to call and do something with them. I wanted to help promote them. I just promoted them just a minute ago, but I'm going to promote them to say they don't call me or message me back. I got a pretty good, I got a pretty good crowd of people that watch the show follow the car, come hang out with us at music festivals or anywhere we are, and they all want to do two things, three things. They want to drink moonshine, they want to smoke cigars, or they want to get in the car. They want to do one of those three things. And, uh, yeah, so these, these guys, Murder Creek, I can't get them to even return my calls or send me a message. And I really want to try to help them because they're doing a really good job, it looks like. Um so that was my plug for Murder Creek Distillery. So if anybody knows anybody at Murder Creek, be sure and tell them that, hey, Johnny Blender was talking about you on his show, and he ain't happy with you guys. Message him. Call him. Talk to him. Uh, German is Irish whiskey. Yeah, German fair and Irish. I ain't, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, right, Bailey. Cough syrup. Oh, no. Uh, on my travels, I saw some in Walmart. Can't remember where. He, he saw some of the legal moonshine. Probably yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so it seems like German and Bailey are getting sauced. Uh, they're sitting there drinking. Uh, let's see. Uh, they, Let's see. Oh, Glenn Culberson said, Johnny, PM me, and I'll see that I can get you some in Mississippi for at Gulfport. Nice. Oh, Glenn Culberson, let's see. That's my, my first, let's see, my first 20 minutes of Glee, meeting Glenn Culberson Cumber, uh, uh, was in uh, Hope, Florida, Emmercoast Dragway. We started talking. We were hanging out by the fence. Uh, I walked up. Drinking, I uh, had, had my little bottle of, uh, I think the coconut is what I had with me. Maybe the apple pie. Uh, and Glenn asked me if I'd like to try some of his apple, some of the moonshine that he had. Like maybe a blackberry. I don't remember. Blueberry, blackberry, something. Uh, but he asked me if I'd like to try some. And I said, well, sure, I'd like to try some. And uh, then he started looking for it. And Uncle Jesse was walking around with a straw in it. <laughs> That same weekend? Oh, okay. Oh no, you're going to be working with when you when you go to you when you go to when you go to the racetrack, you're going to be working. It ain't going to be a sit down and drink and 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 have fun. I mean, you'll be able to do that sometime, but. You know, you're you you have a rigorous work schedule that you have to maintain when you when you're with me. Uh, Germ said the it wasn't rigor mortis. That stuff is death in a cup. <laughs> oh, it was pretty good though. Um, uh, yeah, no no love for the PBR tonight. Just can't handle the past blue ribbon. That just. Yeah, that's what Ronnie Dean drinks. Ronnie Dean's a big PBR guy. Big PBR guy. 
and I, I'm, I, I like giving him junk crap about it. Uh, uh, so yeah, it, it was pretty good. We had we had a lot going on. It was it was a good show. Glenn Culverson was a great guy. And and at Gulfport, I think Sugarbug's going to be there. Donna White, the backup girls, maybe Ronnie Dean will be bring Meadow. Uh, so that it, it, it'll be it'll be a good time. I think uh, Shelby's going to be there with Novadose. Uh, so I mean, I, I, I actually when I started broadcasting on the Royal page, I actually had surveys up on the show where people could comment who was going to what race. And when I had to switch channels, I messed it up. But I learned a whole bunch. I learned there's a bunch more features in that startup bar, bar for my video that I can activate and use. So I haven't done that before. So I, it was really cool the way I had everything set up. Uh, Glenn, uh, Glenn said, we'll have a jug or two. He said, Lynn, we will have a jug or two. All right, so we're good. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, let's see. So also, we got a little bit of movement on the Veteran Tribute Project this weekend, and I, I want to remind everybody one more time: Skinny Screecret Sauce, awesome on tires. This is a great traction compound. Sucks on ribs, but look at this jug. I thought it was barbecue sauce when I first wanted some of it. I was wrong. No. I stuck my finger. It doesn't taste good. And don't forget, here at Vampire Chassis, we're also a K&N dealer. So if you need filters, if you need it, cold air intakes, if you need anything from K&N, please check our prices first. Because as a dealer, I beat everybody's price. I beat Amazon's price by like 25%. Somebody needed cold air intake. But... uh Filters, I can get whatever you need. If it's LS, if it's small block Chevrolet, if it's particular Ford, Dodge, Ram, 5, 7, Hemi filters. If it's stuff like that I, I use, I have those individually. You can buy one, two, three. If it's something else that you have, like a 302 or a 351 or something like that, I try to order those filters by the case. Uh, it's a lot better price. It's easier for it. But, you know, like the, those engines I don't have. So if a couple of you want to jump in and go in line and, and go in, I can get you a case of the uh, K&N high performance oil filters. They're real good. I, I was just fixing to talk about Fuse Fuel. Fuse Fuel, we will have Fuse Fuel at the events that we will be at. Uh, we will be carrying methanol in the trailer like we always do. And I may even show up if it's not a, if it's not a problem with Uncle Jesse and Johnny Jordan and South Carolina Motorplex. Maybe show up with a little 110 and 112 in the trailer as well. Uh, so if anybody's going to need something, I may have some there. Big John drives a goldish, silverish looking F-250 with a John Deere license plate on the front. I'll be uh, riding Jezebel, so uh, before he leaves, I'm going to go to that insurance policy. <laughs> He'll be all in a big red trailer. <laughs> what are you talking about? That just ain't even right. That ain't even right. <laughs> Chad Banks is just joined. Uh, Miss Sandy's leaving. Thank you, Miss Sandy. Don't forget, if you need some CBD oil, contact Sandy Thibodeau. Author Lynn Gibson.com. Author Lynn. 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 You, you, you need to drink less and shut up more. Can you do that? I am, I am, I am surrounded tonight. I, I, I've been working on that. I've been working on a bunch of companies as a cigar sponsor for the show, for the dragster. And, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not getting, uh, and you know, I only smoke a hundred cigars a month. You know, you, you figure that people say, damn, we need to get this guy because everybody likes it. And, and when, whenever we go, hell, when we go to a con, where do the, where do the stars hang out? They hang out with me smoking cigars. Can you just schedule some appointments here locally? 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. That that's a, that's a, that sounds like a, that sounds like a plan. I like that. Uh, yes. Oh, um, Regina. Here's Miss Sandy's information. This is who I get mine from. Import CBD oil. This is her name, her number. You can check it out. Um, really good. I suffer from tons of pain, and uh, the Hemp Works CBD oil has really helped me with that, uh, helped me manage that pain and eliminate it in a lot of cases. This stuff has worked on. I got a toothache right now. I put a little on my tooth before I started the show. I don't feel my tooth now. Uh, there is no THC in it. It does have CBD. Works on everything. Works on everything. Yeah, it didn't work on spouses. I've been pouring it on Lynn for months and nothing. She's still here. Uh, works on bee stings. Works really good on bee stings. I got a couple of hit by a couple of hornets. Yep. Yeah, it did take off a skin tag. It took off a skin tag I had. So, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. I like it. Um, yeah. Yeah, you like it for your migraines, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, back to, I started talking about the Veteran, uh, Veteran Memorial and Tribute Project, the 1976 Corvette that we're building. Uh, it is our new 501C3 that we, we have up and running. Uh, we're still waiting on our EIN from the IR, the, our EIN from the IRS on the, yeah, on the, uh, uh, and what that does is that way, if anybody makes donations to the, project if they donate parts if they donate money if they donate anything to the project we give them a, a voucher or a receipt and they're able to use that on their taxes their irs taxes so it's a donation so they can use it with their business they can use it with their uh, personal just whatever they do it helps with the it helps us fund the project and, you know, we we're really fortunate on this. We've got Jerry Rob with the Hot Rod House of Power in New Lenox, Illinois, that's working with us on this. Uh, we've got uh, Vince Leon with Vet Starch, which is another veteran-operated program out of Texas uh, that we will be joining with and, and doing some things with him. We also, one of the things I mentioned today is once we have, <coughs> excuse me, once we have the car built and we're out with the car, um, we're gonna we're gonna do some of the uh, Johnny Blender World Collides Worlds Collide with uh, some of the cosplayers, and I think having the uh, the Veterans Memorial car at some of the events and having our friends like Jerem Ferrer, uh, Spider Man, and Sean Batman, and some of the other Cami Roebuck and some of the other cosplayers that we know uh, at some of the events. Not only does this make it a really nice veteran event, but it also makes it a nice family event where those people can bring their kids. Uh, and you know, kids always want to see Spider-Man if we can, and we can have, we can have the Spider-Man and the Batman together in the, in the Corvette and, and things like this. So there's a lot we can do with it. There's a lot of uh, different directions we can go with that. Uh, you remember that girl who was Wonder Woman in Tupelo? Oh, yeah, she was yeah, why don't you just get her? Yeah, why don't you just get her? <laughs> but yeah, don't forget to check out the Veterans Memorial and Tribute page. Uh, we do need help with the Corvette. We need help working on the Corvette. We need help with donations as far as parts and things. I, I'm not really one going out looking for money on things. We've had we've had manpower's helping that. That's and what we're going to do with the 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 people that we have help on the car. We had a uh, we had our first scheduled work day volunteer work day on the car last weekend, but Hurricane barely screwed us up on that. Uh, so I. I Right, right. Fifty. On the twenty-sixth, which is next Saturday, not this Saturday coming, but next Saturday, it's girls' night at the Gibson Compound. So y'all go work on the car. But me and all of my 
conference will be here inside the house doing margarita night. So there'll be about a half a dozen drunk women here at my house next uh, weekend yes. after next. Uh, so if anybody would like to come help work on the car that day, it would be awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll, we will cook. We will cook. Clint Coverson, you need to be here for this. Yeah, Jeremy's got a girlfriend. Just bring her. She can come down for the ladies' night. She can come down. Bailey can come down. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Jeremy, I'll have Jeremy out. Yeah, he'll be out with me. Yeah, but we've got, but we, my fungus, uh, my boy fungus, uh, but we want to have, our, our, again, we want to reschedule our first work day on the car. And like we said, we're looking for volunteers to come help. One of the things that we're going to do is we're taking down all the names of all the volunteers of people that have donated so far. Uh, we've got money, man hours, and parts. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to take all those names and we're going to put on our, our shirts for the car so that your name will be ever embroidered or uh, ever encapsulated on a shirt. That's much better than me. Everybody's going to get a shirt. Everybody who works on a car that's name is on the shirt is going to get a shirt, the first one. Now, if they would like to buy a family, friends, neighbors, and things like that shirts with their – yeah, with their names on it as well well as for their grandkids to have uh, all the proceeds that go to the 501c3 which help prop fund the project that would be a great stock that would be a great stock and stuff that would be a great stock and stuff. yeah that, that would be that'd be a great stock and stuff and then when we get the uh, that will be to help get the car up and running we also are working on our poster uh, which is going to be kind of a cool thing uh, the, the poster and the poster will also follow the shirts so we're going to have posters that are made for it. Uh, we, I have figured out, I have looked and thought about, uh, you know, there's so many charities out there, and I've looked at so many charities and 501s, and, and one of the things about them, they're all just out there hitting everybody up for money. And that's not what this whole project is about. Yes, we do have to have some funding to buy certain things that I doubt people aren't going to donate and instead of one person donating one big thing, you know, going to 50 people and trying to get each one of them to do $3 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're going to try to, uh, it, it's back to my uh, performance-based sponsorships that I believe in. Uh, you know, as, as we produce and as the car comes around, you know, Chris Johansson with Chris's Auto, uh, Chris's Auto Repair in Slidell, Louisiana, has donated some, uh, I think, valve covers uh, for it. What? We can get all of our girlfriends out of here and do white t shirts and do a donkey and get sell tickets for a hundred forty five bucks a piece for the donkey and do. Mm hmm. All of our girlfriends are very willing to go. You know, we travel in motors. Yes. <laughs> yes. That might be that might be a good thing. Just can't seek and seven come down. And and speaking of which, while while we're talking about that, and we're talking about the project, I want to jump over real quick and say something. Shout out to all our friends at Studio in the Country, Bogalusa, Louisiana. Studio in the Country, the hits for most of the 70s and the 80s came out of the studio, the recording studio in Bogalos, Louisiana, studio in the country. The amount of gold records, the amount of Grammys, the amount of success that has come out of that station has been unreal over the year, decades. Uh, Benjamin, I can't remember Benjamin's last name. I've had a few conferences or talk messages with him. Uh, we are going to start doing some stuff with studio in the country. We have a ton of bands that we... Uh, you have with Voodoo Roo uh, that we have that are friends that are going out of the state, going two states over to do recording, and they have one of the premier recording studios in the United States here. Aaron Neville, Aaron Neville and the Neville brothers stopped recording at other studios because um, – 
the story goes, everything that they recorded at studio in the country was a hit. Yes, yeah. So, so they just liked recording the studio in the country because they knew it was success for them. Uh, I've looked at some prices of studio in the country. Studio in the country is very fair price because I mean, remember how Gene had it priced in the eighties when I was out there, uh, and prices hadn't changed a whole lot. Uh, I think that's empty. I've just been using that as a prop. Uh, so studio in the country, we've got some things that we're going to be working on with them. I, I hopefully that Benjamin's going to be calling in and doing some, some talking with us. We are, we're going to uh, talk to the bands that we have on the edge radio us. And if you haven't downloaded the app, please do. Uh, but studio in the country is unbelievable. Blake Carroll, one of the, uh, uh, he's a drummer for about seven bands. But I saw something he posted the other day. I think they were going to Texas, Austin, Texas, to record. And I'm like, they're driving from Vicksburg, Mississippi, to Austin, Texas, and they have studio in the country two and a half hours away from them. So studio in the country is by far one. And it's got housing out there where if you want to stay uh, while you're there doing recording. And I don't know all the prices or what all that stuff costs, but I'm going to get that. It, it, it is truly uh, an unbelievable. I mean, carry, uh, uh, Kansas, uh, Carry On Your Wayward Son, those songs were all recorded off that album, Point of No Return. That was all recorded at Studio in the Country. Uh, Zebra recorded their, their albums. I mean, there has been Clarence, Gate Mouth Brown, Freddie, Fe the amount of bands, country, rock, all kind of rap, everything has recorded studio in the country, and it is one of the best kept secrets out there. Most you got Muscle Shoals, Alabama is recording studios and Muscle Shoals, excellent recording studios, but studio in the country is the place. It is unbelievable. So we're going to be working really try hard, trying to help all of our bands, our friends and bands, hook up, get the production quality the the sound that they need and let me tell you when they get out there in those woods in studio in the country it's peaceful it's relaxing there's things there to do if you want to take a break it's not all the hustle and bustle of, the, of being in downtown new orleans or, or downtown austin when you're trying to think or or trying to figure out a chord progression or trying to come up with something that's just not working in the studio you can't do that with a ton of noise um, yeah, you go go wet a hook for a little while, uh, and, and just shoot baskets for a little while. You can relax. You can gather your thoughts, uh, and it's far enough away. It's what twenty minutes away from Covington, Mandeville, Abita Springs, that area, Picayune, Poplarville, Hattiesburg. So, if you want to get away from Studio in the Country and get into one of those cities. New Orleans, New Orleans is about an hour, hour and 15 minutes away. That's a longer drive. But for me, you know, I haven't been in New Orleans since Katrina. There, were, I, I had lost nothing in New Orleans before Katrina, and I still know I hadn't lost anything there. I would rather hang out in Mandeville, Madisonville, Covington, Abita Springs, Hattiesburg. There are so many cool places to go that aren't New Orleans, the Gulf Coast. Uh, so studio in the country is a place we're going to be talking about a lot more for all our music friends. We're going to kick over on the edge radio us on some of our new shows that are coming on board. We're going to be talking more about studio in the country and, and all the benefits that come out of, out of being Bogalusa, Louisiana, when you try and get your music done. I didn't cut an album there. I worked on, I did studio work for uh, a couple of my friends who did out. I play, I played bass on it for them. Uh, Licks, yeah, I played, played for Licks. Uh, TP, uh, yeah, so yeah, there was, there was, there was, there was some stuff that I did. Uh, Joe, uh, I can't remember what Fat Joe's name was. Joe, he was an old man. Um, I can't remember who was from Slidell. I can't remember what he did. He was, he was the person that thought I had a good voice. No, I'm serious. No, no, not at all. Joe Avance. We were laying, we were laying down tracks. We were laying down tracks and I was singing. And the problem I had, I had always been when I, when I was a bass player, I played bass. I didn't sing. Uh, and I just got into how I played bass and I was cool with that. When I started trying to sing, I was having to think too much. I was having, it's not like playing a guitar. When you play a guitar, 
and you're going from a C to a G to A, you can re you can relate those chord changes to certain words in the song. When you're playing bass, you're not playing in a you're not playing like that. You're playing, and I, the way I played, I, I played. I was a walking bass player, so I was moving. I was going up and down the scale in a series of words. I may hit seven notes, five notes. Uh, so it was, it was, and, and there was a, there was a, what they call a Johnny B. Good lick was, which was a one, three, five, one, three, five, one, three, five, seven, five, three. So it just the way it worked, but that's a whole bunch of stuff. And for me playing bass, I couldn't relate to chord changes to words like on a guitar. Uh, you know, if, if there was a song I, I knew when I sang Mary had a little lamb, when I got to lamb, I changed to a D chord and then, you know, the next, the next verse of the song, and then I changed to an E. So, you know, the, yeah, I could, I could relate that the bass. I could not do that. And, and, uh, Pappy A. Vance had me singing. It was a, um, the fireman, the fireman, George Strait. That, that's what we were laying down. And, uh, he said, man, he said, he said, I love the way your voice sounds on this. But man, I could not play it and sing it at the same time because it, it, I was just having I was having to think too much, and I couldn't concentrate on any one thing. So yeah, it was it was way above me. All right, everybody, it's it's getting late. Uh, don't forget to check out the Veteran Memorial Tribute Project. It's our event. Galen Rolson Rolson has joined. Hey, Galen, how are you? Don't forget to check out Galen's got. They've got events with the. Uh, uh, Galen, Brick Cummins, that entire group, they have all kind of stuff going on Gulfport and Memphis and a bunch of other, the Million Dollar Bracket Race. Still want to know how Johnny Ezel and Britt are doing in that. Uh, I don't know who got paid yet. Uh, but, yeah, oh, Melvin Harvard is joined. Melvin Harvard, here. Mr. Melvin, the 405 is in the house. Thank you, Mr. Melvin. Glad you tuned in. I see you beat Mike again. <laughs> about an hour or two we, we 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 may have to we may have to mr melvin if uh if, if, if you need we've got a we're starting a new gap insurance policy if uh if, 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 if you think mike if you see any races coming up that mike's going to get in with anybody and he needs a little gap insurance please call us we call us we can take care of that for you <laughs> I hate talking about that guy. Like I, I like Mike Carter, man. I, I like giving him a hard time. He does. He does. He must be baseball. Must be kids. Summertime, t-ball, baseball. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Jerm. I uh, there's there's a lot of uh, Spider Jerm is excited to see where this goes. Spider Jerm, the fungus. He doesn't. Sh he did. He saw that. Yeah, and he hit like 400 today. He started it yesterday, I think. Hit like 400. So, and he'll probably hit more because all these people that are on this page will go will look at like yours. I don't know how many five. You you have 10,000 viewers a week on your show, and most of them, a lot of them, are friends of mine that don't watch my show. So that was another reason for putting the picture up I did today. And there will be more coming. I wait to wait, wait till they see the next one in my American flag, red, white, and blue bikini. Oh my God, it's, like a <laughs> it's not. It's just my head. Oh, uh, here we go. The wine has won, everybody. Uh, all right, man, I ran a little over tonight. I want to thank everybody. Don't forget to check out the Edge Radio US. If you don't have the app, please download it. It's rock and roll music the way rock and roll music is supposed to be. This ain't your daddy rock and roll. And you can, yes, download it to Play Store. Oh, I, author Lynn Gibson and download it there. Yep, yep, it's free. You cheap bastards. Uh, it's free. Uh, so, yeah, please get that. Check it out. Don't forget to check out the Edge Radio US, the Veteran Memorial and Tribute Project. We are looking for LS parts. 5-3 uh, is what we're putting in the vet. Uh, but this is our 501c3, so we need help. Don't really want any money from anybody. Just want any extra parts you may have lying around in your garage. For a fight, and, yeah, and and come over on some of our work days and help put an hour in or two hours in on the car. We're gonna have food. 
on the 26th if you want to come over there will be a bunch of drunk women here so I don't know how much work we'll get done but we'll try to get some done before the, the more just think of it this way the more work we get done the longer the longer time they have to get drunk does that sound right okay all right everybody thanks for tuning in uh, please share the video we're gonna have everything up running on Periscope Facebook Twitter the uh, we got shit going everywhere YouTube so thank you for tuning in check us out next week germ hit me up after the show uh, thanks everybody have a great night I love doing this <laughs>